Hello, you two. Got a book report for you today. The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wallenben. Do you want to know the secret of a healthy environment? Baby, it's trees! I know, it doesn't seem apparent at first. That's why you got to read this book. It will change your entire paradigm about how you see the forest and city landscapes. It will also give you a deeper understanding of permaculture. It's not going to be easy to sum this up. There are 36 chapters, each one with a gem of an idea that shines with brilliance. First off, the trees can communicate via their roots with the partnership they have formed with ectomycorrhizal fungi. They also communicate with molecules they disperse through their leaves in the air. They feed each other. Even evergreens feed deciduous trees and vice versa. Second, we find out the odds at which these trees are up against. The unforgiving weather elements, fungi, poor environment, too many rocks, too wet, too cold, too hot, and pests like beetles. We learn how they stand up and form a barrier to protect each other from the wind, and that each species of tree has its own design for managing water and their own growth patterns, which is dictated by their memory. We learn of their potential that trees left to their devices do not grow old at a hundred, instead can live 300 all the way up to a thousand years old. And that the older and fatter they become, the more carbon they absorb. Interesting enough, we learn that trees naturally move over time. I'm not talking about single trees, I'm talking about forests as a whole. The next generation of trees creating the new boundaries of the forest, creeping like the slowest creature across the planet looking for more favorable areas. Rogue seeds catch a ride in the river or birds carry the seeds in their feathers or other emigrating animals take these seeds with them, migrating, excuse me. But the big take home is that we learn the products and services that trees provide are more numerous and beneficial when the trees are left alive than if you were to just cut them all and grow a monoculture forest. I love this book and found there's even more fun in the bibliography. You will learn the behaviors of individual species of trees from an experienced forest manager from Germany. If you have property with a bit of trees or you help your community make decisions about trees, this book will give you an understanding on how to investigate which trees would be best suited for your area and better care for them in the long run. Get this book and enjoy The Hidden Life of Trees.